This is Tim, a likable young man, but he has a few problems facing up to real life. I'm out of work. What's more important than that? You've been fired again? No. No, I, I resigned. Tim, it's all very well telling strangers these stories, but you must tell us the truth. I know you. What's your name? Rocky. Hold it, children. Hold it. I have big news. Due to my efforts, a big-time criminal has been caught, the man who stole the Portslade Hall Rembrandt. Oh, dear God. Tim, I believe the two people should be honest with each other if they're going to have any kind of a relationship. Absolutely right. So I want to be upfront with you. Oh, with a dress like that, you've got no choice. <laughs> a guy I've been interested in for a long time came round to see me, and we drove down to Brighton for the day. Oh, he's, he's got a car, is he? Oh, yes. And it all sort of happened. Fantastic. Leon. Oh? I'm sorry. I just don't see what washing the car has got to do with learning the antique business. You're a nice boy, but where do you get a car like this? Oh, you buy it. I just heard some incredible news. Mm -hmm. A Rembrandt's gone missing from Port Slade Hall. Uh, and you bought it? I hope Lipton doesn't come back and find me here. I told you I was out of town for the night. Are you waiting for something? I understand you were involved with the Port Slave Rembrandt robbery. Not me, Squire. Listen, Kate. I've stopped all that. I've changed. Then show me your ticket to New York. No. I wanted you to believe me. Has Tim stopped all that? Is he going to New York? And what was his involvement with the man who stole the Rembrandt? Find the answers to these and many other questions in the new comedy, Real Life. Have you ever met someone who you knew from the start? Would be somebody special, an affair of the heart. And it makes me uneasy every time we're apart. So nothing can stop me now. Bye.